In the last video, we started getting set up with our gallery fragment here, and now we're ready to actually find where on the phone all of the media is going to be stored. So we're going to get kind of all the file paths ready and start learning how to browse the directories. So right when the activity starts, or when the fragment starts, sorry, we're going to want to kind of initialize the uh, variables and get a list of all the directories that we want. Because in the top, we want to be able to choose which directory we go to, and then we get a new list of media from those directories. So um, I'm going to create a new um, method down here, call it init. And inside init, we're going to get started doing all those things. So basically, what we want to do is we want to check for other folders inside of uh, a certain directory. And the first directory we're going to check is storage, emulated, and zero. And that's going to be, or sorry, and then pictures. That's going to be the first one we want to check. And that's going to be kind of the first directory that we want to check. This directory right here, storage emulated zero, is going to be kind of the, a default location that we can access actually by referencing a variable. So to get to get that, we could actually just go environment dot get external uh, storage directory and then get path, and that will give us that'll essentially give us this storage emulated zero. But instead of keeping all these paths inside of this fragment alone, we're going to create a new Java class to manage all of our directories since we're going to be accessing them like lots of times. So we'll go into utils and right click, go to new Java class, and I'm going to call it file paths. And inside file paths, we're going to create a bunch of public variables for all of those file paths. So the first one will be the one that I just mentioned, and I'm going to call it root directory. And so that's going to look like this. It'll be storage. Uh, I think uh, should be lowercase actually. Emulated and zero, and that'll be the default location for this variable right here. And then we're going to get a bunch of other directories that we're going to be also using. So the camera one is going to be public string camera, and we can just go root directory plus dcim. Uh, I believe this is going to be the same on most phones. I'm not 100% whoops, not 100 sure on that, but it should be dcim slash camera. And then we're going to have another one for pictures. So public string pictures equals root directory plus uh, slash pictures. And that should be the only ones that we need for now. Now I'm going to create another class. And this one is going to be for actually searching the directories and getting a list of everything that is inside the directories. So I'm going to call it file search since that's what we're doing. We're searching a directory and we're retrieving all the files that are actually inside of that directory. So the first method I'll make is public and I can make it static so that we can use it in all of our other classes without actually having to create an object. And this one's going to be get directory pass. And we just need to pass, pass it a directory. And we should create a new array list of string type. And we call it path array equals new array list. And then we create a new file, new file. And we whoops, pass the directory to the file. Whoops, not new file search, new file. And then we create, we're going to create a list of files. So list files equals file dot list files. And that will give us a list of all the files that are inside this directory, whatever directory we chose. And now we're going to create a loop and add them to the array list. Uh, what, no, this is going to be, yeah, I is less than list files dot length and then I plus plus and then we do if whoops if list files I is a directory then we want to add it so path array dot add list files I and get absolute path Okay, and then at the end of all that, we just want to return our path array. So this is just going to return a list of all of the, the files that are inside of this directory. Sorry, not all the files, all the directories that are inside of the directory. So now we're going to create one more method, and it's going to get all the, the actual files that are inside of the directory. So public, static, and we're going to return another array list of strings. 
get file paths string directory and it's going to be the same sort of thing so I'm going to copy most of this and just kind of rename a bunch of stuff uh, I guess we can keep that as path array sure and we're still going to be returning the path whoops, path array the only difference here is going to be we want to check to see if it's a file instead of a path and that's that's the the absolute only difference with these two methods so let's write a little bit of uh, notes up here so search a directory and return a list of all directories contained inside so and this is going to be pretty much the same thing here but we're going to return a list of all files contained inside the directory that's it so this is going to help us this is going to help keep things a little bit more organized and just in case we want to browse file paths from different classes in our project this is going to make it way easier because we won't have to write these methods again so let's go to gallery fragment now and I want to create a new variable up here so private array list string and this is going to be our directories and inside of onCreate I'll just do uh, directories equals new array list and don't forget to do that or you'll get a null pointer exception when we start actually adding things to the directory and so right away in init first of all I want to do file paths uh, file paths equals new file paths so we're going to do access our file paths and let's go below here and we'll do if file search dot get directory paths and we want to do file paths dot pictures so if this does not equal null so if there's pictures that exist inside of this directory basically or sorry if there's directories inside of this search then we want to add that to our list of directories or actually we want to make it our list of directories so get directory paths and pass uh, file whoops, file paths dot pictures and somehow I got a T there and close that off so now this array will contain a list of all the directories that are inside of this directory right here the pictures directory and then since we also have our camera directory we're going to add that also so we can go file paths dot camera and so now we should have a list of every directory that is inside the folder pictures and we're going to have every directory that's inside of the folder for camera and this is going to be our list of directories this is where we're going to choose the which directory we want to look at from the spinner so now we can create our spinner i'm pretty sure i made that in the last one so i can do array adapter uh, string adapter equals new array adapter and we want to pass the context here and then r dot or android r layout and we can just do a simple spinner so simple spinner drop down item just a basic android drop down item and we're going to pass our directories and then below that we can do adapter dot set drop down view resource and just do another default Android resource here, Android R layout, oops, layout, simple spinner drop down item. And this actually needs to be simple spinner item, not drop down item, simple spinner item. That's the drop down item. And we just go directory spinner, uh, set adapter to our adapter. Cool. So now this spinner is going to display all the directories that are inside pictures and all the directories that are or all the yeah directories inside pictures and all the directories that are inside camera. And that's going to allow us to actually change them and then display whatever is actually inside. So we'll go directory whoops directory spinner set on item click listener new on item click listener and we can log that saying that we selected whatever we selected so directories get position and then here we would set up our image grid so set up our image grid for the directory chosen and that is a mistake that should be actually on item uh, selected listener so let's delete that set on item selected listener new on item selected listener and then paste that back in there so that's pretty much all we have to do. We just need to call init now inside of here. 
and when we do have we don't have our grid set up or anything yet so we can't actually populate images but after that basically we're just going to call a method um, and we're going to grab all the images from inside whatever directory we chose and then display them in the grid so this is a good place to stop in the next one i will add a grid view to our layout file and then we're going to create that method for grabbing all the images inside the directory and displaying them in that grid so i'll see you guys in the next video